Do plants ever stop growing? Unlike many organisms that stop growing when they reach maturity, plants continue to grow during their entire lifespan. Unlimited, prolonged plant growth is described as indeterminate. The apical meristem produces an unrestricted number of lateral organs indefinitely. How do cells recognize each other? Cells recognize each other through the molecules that are attached to their extracellular matrix, which fills the space between cells, binding cells, and tissues together. What members of Nadaria are economically important? Reef building corals are among the most important members of Nadaria. Coral reefs are among the most productive of all ecosystems. They are large formations of calcium carbonate. Limestone in tropical seas laid down by living organisms over thousands of years. Fishes and other animals associated with reefs provide an important source of food for humans. And reefs serve as tourist attractions. Many terrestrial organisms also benefit from coral reefs which form and maintain the foundation of thousands of islands. By providing a barrier against waves, reefs also protect shorelines against storms and erosion. What ciliate characteristics give the impression they are complex organisms? Although they are in fact unicellular, Ciliates have many specialized organelles within their single cells. These organelles include cilia for locomotion, two types of nuclei, micronuclei and macronuclei. An oral groove to ingest food, food vacuoles for digestion. A contractile vacuole to regulate water balance, and a cytoproct to expel solid waste particles. Species of the genus Paramecium, which are found in fresh water, respond to their environment as if controlled by a nervous system. For example, when they encounter physical barriers, they react by reversing the beating of their cilia in order to proceed in a new direction. How does social deprivation affect animals? The effect of a lack of parental care on the social development of young monkeys was studied by Harry Harlow. 1905-1981, and his colleagues beginning in the 1950s. In a now classic experiment, Harlow was able to show that the mother infant bond was so important to young rhesus monkeys that the infants preferred a soft, cuddly fake mother to a fake mother built from wire, even if it had a nursing bottle attached. Depending on the age of the monkey and the duration of the treatment, total isolation 
isolation with fake mother, and so on. Monkeys in these studies later exhibited a range of behavioral deficits including rocking and swaying, poor maternal behavior, and a failure in understanding communication signals from other monkeys. What is a fiddlehead? The type of fern typically grown as a house plant is of the diploid, or sporophyte, generation. It is composed of a rhizome, an underground stem that occurs horizontally, which produces roots and leaves called fronds. As each young frond first emerges from the ground, it is tightly coiled and resembles the top of a violin, hence the name fiddlehead. What is the difference between ectotherms and endotherms? Ectotherms, also known as cold-blooded animals, warm their bodies by absorbing heat from their surroundings. These animals have large variations in normal body temperature due to their changing environment. Most invertebrates, fishes, reptiles, and amphibians are ectotherms. The body temperature of endotherms. Also known as warm-blooded animals, depends on the heat produced by the animal's metabolism. Mammals, birds, some fishes, and some insects are endotherms. Their normal body temperature is fairly constant even when there are vast differences in the temperature of their environment. Why do the swallows return to Capistrano? As part of their annual migration, thousands of swallows arrive each year. About March 19 at the San Juan Capistrano Mission in San Juan, California. They depart around October 23rd for their 6,000 miles 9,656 kilometers flight to Goya, Argentina. March 19th and October 23rd are the feast days for Saints Joseph and San Juan, respectively. What is a stop codon? A stop codon signals the end of coding. Instead of a tRNA, with its amino acid in tow, a release factor matches the stop codon during translation. Causing the polypeptide to be released from the ribosome. It is interesting to note that the genetic code contains only one start codon but three stop codons. This means that a random DNA mutation is much more likely to prevent successful protein synthesis than encourage it. What is the difference between short day plants and long day plants? Short-day and long-day plants exhibit a response to photoperiodism or the changes in light and dark in a 24-hour cycle. 
Short day plants form flowers when the days become shorter than a critical length. While long day plants form flowers when the days become longer than a critical length. Short day plants bloom in late summer or autumn in middle latitudes. Examples of short day plants are chrysanthemums, golden rods, poinsettias, soybeans, and ragweed. Long day plants bloom in spring and early summer. Some examples of long day plants are clover, irises, and hollyhocks. Florists and commercial plant growers can adjust the amount of light a plant receives to force it to bloom out of season. Who was the first scientist to be associated with plant tissue culture? Tissue culture is a technique for growing fragments of plants in an artificial medium. The basis for tissue culture was proposed in 1902 by the German botanist Gottlieb Haberlandt. 1854-1945, who suggested that plant cells were totipotent. In this proposal, every cell has the same genes and the same genetic potential to make all cells other cell types. Botanists began testing Haberland's idea, and the proof of totipotency would be the regeneration of an entire plant from one or a few non-zygotic cells. The earliest experiments failed. Cultured cells remained alive for a short time but did not divide and soon died. What are some common culinary herbs? Herbs are often used to enhance flavors in food. They are usually from the leaves of non-woody plants. Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies. What is the blending theory? Blending theory was the commonly held belief that characteristics were mixed in each generation. For example, breeding two horses, one with a light-colored coat, the other dark, would result in offspring that were all intermediate in coat color. If this held true, then eventually all organisms would become more alike in each generation. Although this theory persisted for many years, it was eventually supplanted by the work of Mendel and the modern geneticists. What is anagenesis?
when a species gradually changes over time to the extent that it becomes a new species but does not give rise to additional species, no divergence, this is described as onogenesis. What is imprinting? Imprinting occurs when an animal learns to make a response to a particular animal or object. Usually the behavior is learned by a young animal through exposure to a stimulus early in its development. There are two types of imprinting, filial, social attachment, and sexual. Perhaps the most famous example of imprinting is that of Conrad Lawrence, 1903 to 1989 and the goslings who imprinted him as their mother and followed him in a classic example of filial imprinting what is high pressure liquid chromatography High-pressure liquid chromatography, HPLC, was developed in the mid-1970s. It differs from other chromatographic techniques in that the liquid is pumped through a short packed column under pressure, instead of relying only on gravity. What are some commercial uses of red algae? The cell walls of red algae contain a mucilaginous outer component usually composed of agar and carrageenan. Agar is used for making gel capsules. A material that is used to make dental impressions and as a base for cosmetics. It is also the basis of the scientific laboratory media used for growing bacteria, fungi, and other organisms. Agar is also used to prevent baked goods from drying out and for rapid setting jellies. Carrageenan is used as a stabilizer for emulsions such as paints. Cosmetics, ice cream, and many dairy products. The genus Porphyra, commonly called nori, is cultivated as a food and is specifically popular in Japan. How are carbohydrates classified? Carbohydrates are classified in several ways. Monosaccharides, single unit sugars, are grouped by the number of carbon molecules they contain. Triose has 3, pentose has 5, and hexose has 6. Carbohydrates are also classified by their overall length. Monosaccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide, or function. Examples of functional definitions are storage polysaccharides. Glycogen and starch, which store energy, and structural polysaccharides. Cellulose and chitin, which provide support for organisms without a bony skeleton. What is centrifugation?
centrifugation is the separation of immiscible liquids or solids from liquids by applying centrifugal force. Since the centrifugal force can be very great, it speeds the process of separating these liquids instead of relying on gravity. Why is pH so important to life? The concentration of hydrogen ions in water influences the chemical reactions of other molecules. An increase in the concentration of electrically charged ions interferes with ore influences the ability of molecules, specifically proteins, to chemically interact. Most living systems function at an internal pH that is close to 7. But a biologically active molecule has an optimum pH at which it functions. The optimum pH level varies depending on the molecule and where it functions. What is allelopathy? Allelopathy is the release of chemicals by certain plants that inhibit the growth and development of competing plants. The chemicals are usually terp-NS or phenols and may be found in roots, stems, leaves, fruits, or seeds. An example of this relationship among plants is the black walnut tree, Juglans nigra. A chemical compound in the leaves and green stems of the black walnut tree is leached by rainfall into the soil. The chemical compound from the black walnut tree leached by rainfall into the soil is hydrolyzed and oxidized into another compound called juglone. Juglone has been shown to be very toxic to many plants as well as an inhibitor of seed germination. Tomatoes and alfalfa wilt when grown near black walnuts. And their seedlings die if their roots contact walnut roots. Similarly, white pine, Pinus strobus, and black locust. Robinia pseudoacacia are often killed by black walnuts growing in their vicinity. Another example of allelopathy is the production of camphor and cineol by the shrub sage. Salvia leucophila, and Artemisia, Artemisia californica. Areas of 10 to 12 feet. 3.0 to 3.6 m, in diameter around these plants are void of other plants. What is the origin of land plants? Many scientists believe land plants evolved from green algae. Green algae, especially the carpites, share a number of biochemical and metabolic traits with plants. Both contain the same photosynthetic pigment scaridines, xanthophils, as well as chlorophylls A and B. Cellulose is a major component of the cell walls of plants and algae and both store their excess carbohydrates as starch. In addition, some aspects of cell division, particularly the formation of new cross walls, only occurs in plants and certain carpites, such as species of the genera Serrera and Colechid.
What are RFLPs? RFLPs are restriction fragment length polymorphisms, which are variations in the short base sequences where restriction enzymes can cut DNA. By cutting two different DNA molecules with the same restriction enzyme, scientists can compare the lengths of the fragments, two identical molecules will have identical fragments. While two similar molecules may be largely alike, with perhaps a few differences in fragment size. These differences in restriction fragment lengths are called polymorphisms and are used in all types of DNA typing. Which fishes form symbiotic relationships with the Portuguese man of war? The Portuguese man of war, Physical Alia Physical Alice, a member of the phylum Nidaria, is a floating hydrozoan. It is a colony of four types of polypsae pneumatophore, or float, dactylozooids or tentacles, gastrozooids, or feeding zooids, and gonozooids, which produce gametes. A number of species of fishes from several genera form symbiotic relationships with the Portuguese men of war. Including the genus Nomus, a minnow-like fish. The clownfish, also called the man of war fish, and the yellowjack. Most of these fishes live within the tentacles of the Portuguese men of war. Some of these fishes, in particular the clownfish, produce a slimy mucus that causes the men of war not to fire its nematocysts. The nomus fish do not produce this protective slimy mucus but instead rely on a specialized swimming pattern they swim near the surface in a large circular pattern in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions to avoid the man of war stings do any mammals fly Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats consist of double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. What is the toxic release inventory? Toxic release inventory, try is a government mandated publicly available compilation of information on the release of over 650 individual toxic chemicals and toxic chemical categories by manufacturing facilities in the United States the law requires manufacturers to state the amounts of chemicals they release directly to air land, or water, or state that they transfer to off-site facilities that treat or dispose of wastes. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency compiles these reports.
into an annual inventory and makes the information available in a computerized database. In 2000, 23,484 facilities released 7.1 billion pounds. 3.2 billion kilograms of toxic chemicals into the environment. Over 260 million pounds 118 million kilograms of this total were released into surface water, 1.9 billion pounds. 86 million kilograms were emitted into the air, over 4.13 billion pounds 1.87 billion kilograms were released to land. And over 278 million pounds 126 million kilograms were injected into underground wells. The total amount of toxic chemicals released in 2000 was 6.7% lower than the amount released in 1999. What are examples of courting behavior? Male stickleback fish swim in a stereotypical manner as they court potential mates. Male bowerbirds build elaborate towers of vegetation to entice females. Female moths release pheromones that attract males from up to a mile away. Male African elephants use low-frequency sounds to find females who are sexually receptive. And, of course, male birds and frogs use vocalizations to attract mates. What was the first animal to be successfully cloned? In 1970 the British molecular biologist John B. Gordon, 1933, cloned a frog. He transplanted the nucleus of an intestinal cell from a tadpole into a frog's egg that had had its nucleus removed. The egg developed into an adult frog that had the tadpole's genome in all of its cells and was therefore a clone of the tadpole. What are root hairs? Root hairs are tiny projections and outgrowths on the outermost layer of the root epidermis. They occur near the tips of roots, where they are abundant. Root hairs are short-lived, and new ones are produced at approximately the same rate as older ones die. Some plants have as many as 40,000 root hairs per square centimeter. What slime mold serves as a model organism in developmental biology? Dictyostelium discoidium has been studied as a model for the developmental biology of complex organisms. Under optimum conditions, this organism lives as individual, amoeboid cells. When food is scarce, the cells stream together into a moving mass, resembling a slug. That differentiates into a stalk with a spore-bearing body at its top. This structure releases spores that can grow into a new amoeboid cell. The development from identical, 
free living cells to a multicellular organism. Simulates many of the properties of more complex and complicated organisms. What is the most common blood cell? Red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes, are the most common blood cells. A milliliter ML, of blood contains approximately 5 billion red blood cells. The average person has a total of 25 trillion red blood cells in their bloodstream. Red blood cells are very small, it would take a string of 2000 red blood cells to circle a pencil. What is unusual about the fish tapeworm? The fish tapeworm is the largest cesto that infects humans. It can grow to a length of 66 feet 20 meters. By comparison, the beef tapeworm may only reach a length of 33 feet 10 meters. What is bioprospecting? Bioprospecting involves the search for possible new plant or microbial strains. Particularly from the world's largest rainforests and coral reefs. These organisms are then used to develop new phytopharmaceuticals. There is some controversy as to who owns the resources of these countries. The countries in which the resources reside or the company that turns them into valuable products. How is biodiversity measured? Biodiversity or biological diversity refers to the breadth of species represented within ecosystems or even on Earth as a whole. Biodiversity may be defined at three levels, genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the variety of genes found within a population or between populations of the same species. Species diversity may also be described as species richness. Do animals have friends? Animals do form social attachments, friends, among their peers. For example, among savanna baboons, bonds between males and females are a central feature of a society. Behaviors like allogrooming, grooming another animal, and reciprocal altruism. Helping another animal, allow unrelated animals to form enduring bonds. How can bryophytes be used as bioindicators? Bioindicators are physiological, chemical. 
or behavioral changes that occur in organisms as a result of changes in the environment. Bryophytes of the genus Hypnum are particularly sensitive to pollutants, especially sulfur dioxide. As a result, most bryophytes are not found in cities and industrial areas. Mosses and liverworts, especially Hypnum cupressiform and Homolaticium sericeum, were used as bioindicators to monitor radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl reactor accident in 1986. How many classes of internal membrane-bound structures are found in eukaryotic cells? There are two classes of internal membrane-bound structures in eukaryotic cells. There are discrete organelles such as mitochondria, chloroplasts, and peroxisomes. Then there is the dynamic endomembrane system nuclear membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, and vacuoles. Can unfertilized eggs function like other cells in the body? A human egg is about 2,000 times the size of a sperm and has all the organelles and proteins required of a living cell but only one half of the necessary DNA. Because of this, the egg cannot be considered a functional cell. Without fertilization, human egg cells survive about 24 hours after ovulation. Prior to that, the egg is maintained by the support structures known as follicular cells, which transfer nutrients to the egg. However, in a process called parthenogenesis, an egg can develop without being fertilized. This type of fertilization occurs in roti FERS, aphids, and whip-tailed lizards. How are fibers classified? Fibers are classified in several ways. One way to classify fibers is based on their location that is, whether or not they are in the xylem. Fibers in xylem are called xylary fibers, while those found in other tissues are called extraxillary fibers. Extraxillary fibers are usually longer than xylary ones. Fibers may also be classified according to their hardness. Hard fibers are from monocots and include xylem, thus making them lignified and stiff. An example of a hard fiber is rope made from sisal, agave sisalina. Soft fibers, also called bast fibers, are harvested from dicots lacking lignin and are generally stronger and more durable than fibers from monocots. An example of a soft fiber is linen from flax, linum usitatissimum. What is the tree of life? Darwin envisioned a tree of life with branch tips representing currently living species and the base as the common ancestor of all. As one moved from the tips toward the trunk, one would pass the common ancestors for each species group. 
This idea is still under debate today as researchers try to determine how and how often life has evolved on Earth. What is a banyan tree? The banyan tree, Ficus bengalensis. Native to tropical regions of Southeast Asia, is a member of the genus Ficus. It is a magnificent evergreen that can reach 100 feet 30.48 meters in height. As the massive limbs spread horizontally, the tree sends down roots that develop into secondary, pillar like supporting trunks. Over a period of years, a single tree may spread to occupy as much as 2,000 feet 610 meters around its periphery. What conditions are necessary for seed germination? Seeds remain dormant until the optimum conditions of temperature, oxygen, and moisture are available for germination and further development. In addition to these external factors, some seeds undergo a series of enzymatic and biochemical changes prior to germination. What are the steps of food processing for animals? The first step is for animals to ingest food. The food is then broken down via the digestive process into molecules that the organism can absorb for energy. Once the food is digested, it is absorbed through the digestive tract to provide energy for the organism. The final step of food processing is elimination. During elimination, undigested material is passed out of the digestive tract. How can a population become reproductively isolated? Reproductive isolation means that individuals of one population are unable to exchange gene sequences. Eggs and sperm, with individuals from another. This means that natural selection will work on the isolated population independently from the rest of the species. Therefore increasing the likelihood that the isolates will become a separate species. Methods by which this can occur include geographic isolation, habitat isolation, and temporal isolation. In other words, Two populations can become physically separated by a barrier like an ocean or mountain range. They can use different parts of the same habitat, birds that visit only the tops of trees as opposed to the lower branches. Or they may be active at different times nocturnal and diurnal insects, for example. Do genes affect your mood? Mood disorders are conditions that go beyond an occasional bad day into the realm of severe emotional disturbance. Mood disorders include depression, 
the most common mood disorder, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. By examining family medical histories and adoption studies. Researchers have concluded that there is a link between bipolar illness and genetics. However, the presence of certain gene sequences is not a mandate, as only about 60% of monozygotic. Identical, twins with the bipolar sequence actually become ill. It is obvious that environmental and societal factors also play roles in determining one's mood. How are ribosomes different from other organelles? Ribosomes differ from most other organelles in not being bound by a membrane. Which conifers in North America lose their leaves in winter? Don redwood trees, metasequoia, are deciduous. Their leaves are bright green in summer and turn coppery red in the fall before they drop. Previously known only as a fossil, the tree was found in China in 1941 and has been growing in the United States since the 1940s. The U.S. Department of Agriculture distributed seeds to Experimental growers in the United States, and the Don Redwood tree now grows all over the country. The only native conifers that shed all of their leaves in the fall are the bald cypress, Taxidium distichum, and the larch, Larix larcina. Can two populations occupy the same niche? According to G. F. Gauze, 1910-1988, an ecologist, two species that are in direct competition for the same resource cannot coexist if that resource is limited in some way. The work of Gauze and others predicts that under such conditions, one population will drive the other to extinction in that local area. What is respiration? Respiration is the exchange of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide, between an animal and its environment. There are three phases to the process of respiration, gas exchange 1, breathing. When an animal inhales oxygen and exhales carbon dioxide, 2, transport of gases via the blood. Circulatory system to the body's tissues, and three, at the cellular level. When the cells take in oxygen from the blood and in return add carbon dioxide to the blood. What is the best soil pH for growing plants? Nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, potassium, and magnesium are most available to plants when the soil pH is between 6.0 and 7.5 under highly acidic, low pH, conditions. 
these nutrients become insoluble and relatively unavailable for uptake by plants. However, some plants such as rhododendrons grow better in acidic soils. High soil pH can also decrease the availability of nutrients. If the soil is more alkaline than pH 8, phosphorus, iron, and many trace elements become insoluble and unavailable for plant uptake. What do the numbers inside the recycling symbol on plastic containers mean? The Society of the Plastics Industry developed a voluntary coding system for plastic containers to assist recyclers in sorting plastic containers. The symbol is designed to be imprinted on the bottom of the plastic containers. The numerical code appears inside a three-sided triangular arrow. A guide to what the numbers mean is listed below. The most commonly recycled plastics are polyethylene terephthalate, PET, and high-density polyethylene, HDPE. When was the nucleus first described? The Scottish botanist Robert Brown 1773 to 1858, first named and described the nucleus in 1831, while studying orchids. Brown called this structure the nucleus, from the Latin nucula, meaning little nut or kernel. What is unusual about the stinkhorn fungus Dictyophora? The stinkhorn fungus Dictyophora indusiata is one of the world's fastest growing organisms. It pushes out of the ground at a rate of about 0.2 in 0.5 centimeters per minute. The growth rate is so fast that a crackling sound can be heard as the tissues of the fungus swell and stretch. During growth, a delicate, net-like veil forms around the fungus. Giving this fungus its common name, the Lady of the Veil. The fungus then decomposes and in the process produces a strong odor that is similar to the smell of decaying flesh. This odor attracts flies that crawl over the fungus and collect its spores on their feet. This process ensures that the spores are carried to new areas. Although the odor produced by species of Dictyophora is quite unpleasant. Members of this genus are considered delicacies in China, where they are marketed as aphrodisiacs. How has DNA become commercialized? DNA has been extensively commercialized in its applications to plant biotechnology. Genetically modified organisms, gene therapy, gene patents, and applications to forensic science. DNA jewelry, artwork, and apparel can be purchased. Music CDs have been created based on DNA sequences.
When was the term physiology first used? The term physiology was first used by the Greeks as early as 600 B. CE to describe a philosophical inquiry into the nature of things. It was not until the 16th century that the term was used in reference to vital activities of healthy humans. During the 19th century its usage was expanded to include the study of all living organisms using chemical, physical, and anatomical experimental methods. How do yeasts differ from other fungi? Yeasts remain unicellular that is, as single cells throughout their life. Most species reproduce by budding, others through binary fission or spore formation. Each bud that separates from its mother yeast cell can grow into a new yeast cell. Some yeast cells group together to form colonies. What wood is used to make baseball bats? Wooden baseball bats are made from white ash, Fraxinus americana. This wood is ideal for producing bats because it is tough and light. And can thus help drive a ball a great distance. A tree roughly 75 years old and 15.7 in, 40 centimeters, in diameter can produce approximately 60 bats. How is Henry David Thoreau associated with the environment? Henry David Thoreau, 1817-1862, was a writer and naturalist from New England. His most familiar work, Walden, describes the time he spent in a cabin near Walden Pond in Massachusetts. He is also known for being one of the first to write and lecture on the topic of forest succession. His work, along with that of John Muir, 1838-1914, and others, has served to inspire those others to understand the natural world and provide for its conservation. What is parsimony? Parsimony is a method for choosing the simplest explanation among a variety of possible explanations for phenomena when decisive evidence is unavailable. In evolutionary terms this means grouping organisms or their traits in hierarchies that minimize the occurrence of special events. For example, all mammals are descendants of a fur-bearing milk-producing ancestor, even though some mammals, e. g. platypus, echidna, produce eggs instead of live young. The most parsimonious explanation is that live-bearing is a secondary adaptation that occurred after mammals separated from the other groups of animals. 
the geographic distribution of species is known as biogeography. By observing similar organisms and their adaptations to different habitats, researchers can ask and then answer important questions about evolutionary change. In fact, the diversity of habitats visited by Darwin on his voyages. With the HMS Beagle helped him to solidify his ideas on evolution. What are Joshua trees? Yucca brevifolia, a large shrub found in the southwestern region of the United States. Received its common name from Mormon pioneers. They named the tree after the prophet Joshua because its greatly extended branches. Resemble how Joshua used his outstretched arms to point his spear toward the city of Ai. Where did viruses originate? The most widely accepted hypothesis is that viruses are bits of nucleic acid that escaped from cells. According to this view, some viruses trace their origin to animal cells. Some to plant cells, and others to bacterial cells. The variety of origins may explain why viruses are species specific that is. Why some viruses only infect species that they are closely related to, or the organisms from which they originated. This hypothesis is supported by the genetic similarity between a virus and its host cell. What is the most efficient animal? Efficiency may be judged by a variety of measures. And thus it is difficult to pick the most efficient animal. For example, small animals tend to be much less efficient than larger. Ones at conserving the heat required to run their metabolic reactions. Conversely, many small animals are much more efficient at reproduction. Compare the reproductive output of a roach to that of an elephant. Therefore, determining the comparative efficiency of different animals depends upon what attributes are selected for measurement. How many human RNA genes are there? There are about 250 genes that code for short RNA sequences instead of protein. These RNA strands appear to regulate the activity of other genes. Particularly those involved in embryonic development. Do bacteria ever reproduce sexually? Although sexual reproduction involving the fusion of gametes does not occur in bacteria, genetic material is sometimes exchanged between bacteria. This is done in three different ways. The first method is a transformation in which fragments of DNA are 
released by a broken cell and taken in by another bacterial cell. The second possibility is a transduction in which a bacteriophage carries genetic material from one bacterial cell to another. Lastly, conjugation in which two cells of different mating types come together and exchange genetic material is also possible. How has dill been used throughout history? Dill has long been used for medicinal purposes. The Egyptians used dill, anethum gravolens, as a soothing medicine. Greeks habitually used the herb to cure the hiccups. During the Middle Ages dill was prized for the protection it purportedly provided against witchcraft. Magicians and alchemists used dill to concoct spells. While a commonly known wives tale stated that dill added to wine could enhance passion. Colonial settlers brought dill to North America, where it became known as meat and seed. Because children were given dill seed to chew during long sermons in church. How can mathematics be used to predict an enzyme's behavior? The calculation of enzyme activity is known as enzyme kinetics. One particularly useful model for making these predictions, the michaelis menten equation was formulated in 1913 by Leonor Michaelis, 1875-1949, and Maud Menton, 1879-1960. It is important for scientists to know how to control enzymatic reactions by varying the concentration of enzymes and substrates. After all, enzymes mediate all cellular pathways. What are simple stains? Simple stains highlight an entire microorganism so that cellular shapes and basic structures are visible. Simple stains commonly used include methylene blue, carbolfuxin, crystal violet, and safranine. A stain is applied to a fixed smear for a certain amount of time and then washed off. And the slide is dried and examined. What are the uses of chromatography? Chromatography is used to separate and identify the chemicals in a mixture. It is useful to, 1, separate and identify the chemicals in a mixture. 2, check the purity of a chemical product, 3, identify impurities in a product. And 4, purify a chemical product, on a laboratory or industrial scale. How does deductive reasoning differ from inductive reasoning? Deductive reasoning, often used in mathematics and philosophy, 
uses general principles to examine specific cases. Inductive reasoning is the method of discovering general principles by close examination of specific cases. Inductive reasoning first became important to science in the 1600s, when Francis Bacon 1561-1626, Sir Isaac Newton, 1642-1727 And their contemporaries began to use the results of specific experiments to infer general scientific principles. What part of the papyrus plant, Cypyrus papyrus, was used to make paper? The central pith of the stalk or stem of the papyrus plant was cut into thin strips, pressed together, and dried to form a smooth writing surface. The thin strips were placed side by side longitudinally and crossed at right angles with another set of strips. The finished product was a pure white sheet of paper. How much newspaper must be recycled to save one tree? One thirty five to forty feet, ten point six to twelve M, tree produces a stack of newspapers four feet. One point two M, thick, this much newspaper must be recycled to save a tree. What accounts for the different colors of bird feathers? The vivid color of feathers is of two kinds, one, pigmentary, and two, structural. Red, orange and yellow feathers are colored by pigments called lipochromes deposited in the feather barbules as they are formed. Black, brown, and gray colors are from another pigment, melanin. Blue feathers depend not on pigment but on scattering of shorter wavelengths of light by particles within the feather. These are structural feathers. Green colors are almost always a combination of yellow pigment and blue feather structure. Another kind of structural color is the beautiful iridescent color of many birds which ranges from red, orange, copper, and gold to green, blue, and violet. Iridescent color is based on interference that causes light waves to reinforce, weaken, or eliminate each other. Iridescent colors may change with the angle of view. Are giant redwood trees found only in California? Although redwoods extend somewhat into southern Oregon, the vast majority of giant redwoods are found in California. The closest relative to this form of redwood is the Japanese cedar found in regions of Asia. This tree grows to a height of 150 feet 45.7 meters, with a circumference of 25 feet 7.6 meters. There are two species of the genus Sequoia, which are commonly known as the redwood and big tree. 
both can be seen in either Redwood National Park or Sequoia National Park. At the latter park, the most impressive tree is known as the General Sherman tree. It is 272 feet 83 meters tall, has a diameter of 32 feet 9.75 meters, and a circumference of 101 feet 30.8 meters. The weight of the tree is estimated to be more than 6,000 tons. Other trees found in Sequoia National Park exceed 300 feet 91.4 meters in height but are more slender. The General Sherman tree is about 4,000 years old, the oldest living thing next to the bristle cone pine. Approximately 150 million years ago these giant trees were widespread across the northern hemisphere. While the size of these giant trees implies that they are composed of very strong wood. The opposite is true. The wood is useless as timber because it is brittle and shatters into splintery. Irregular pieces when struck. Perhaps the weakness of the wood is why so many of these giant trees still survive and have not been harvested by the logging industry. What is the difference between the root system and the shoot system of vascular plants? The root system is the part of the plant below ground level. It consists of the roots that absorb water and various ions necessary for plant nutrition. The root system anchors the plant in the ground. The shoot system is the part of the plant above ground level. It consists of the stem and leaves. The stem provides the framework for the positioning of the leaves. The leaves are the sites of photosynthesis. What is a limiting factor in an ecosystem? A limiting factor is any environmental factor that restricts the ecological niche of an organism. Limiting factors are based on the law of supply and demand. Those factors, resources, whose supply is less than demand can influence the distribution of species within a community. Examples of limiting factors include soil, minerals, temperature extremes, and water availability. What is a restriction endonuclease? A restriction endonuclease is an enzyme that cleaves DNA at specific sites. Restriction enzymes are made by bacteria as a means of bacterial warfare against invading bacteriophages, viruses that infect bacteria. These enzymes are now used extensively in biotechnology to cleave DNA into shorter fragments for analysis or to selectively cut plasmids so that foreign DNA can be inserted. When were the major classes of plant hormones identified and who is associated with their identification? Oxens Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, and his son, 
Francis, 1848-1925 Performed some of the first experiments on growth-regulating substances. They published their results in 1881 in The Power of Movement in Plants. In 1926 Fritz W. Went. 1903-1990, isolated the chemical substance responsible for elongating cells in the tips of oat, genus Avena, seedlings. He named this substance auxin, from the Greek term auxin, meaning to increase. Gibberellins in 1926 the Japanese scientist Iaki Kurosawa discovered a substance produced by a fungus. Gibberella fujikuroi, that caused a disease, foolish seedling disease, in rice. Oriza sativa, seedlings in which the seedlings would grow rapidly but appear sickly and then fall over. The Japanese chemists Tejiro Yabuta and Yasukumiki isolated the compound and named it gibberellin. In 1938, Cytokinin's Johannes van Overbeek discovered a potent growth factor in coconut. Cocos nucifero, milk in 1941. In the 1950s, Folky Skug, 1908 to 2001, was able to produce a thousandfold. Purification of the growth factor but was unable to isolate it. Carlos O. Miller, 1923, Skug. And their colleagues succeeded in isolating and identifying the chemical nature of the growth factor. They named the substance kinetin and the group of growth regulators to which it belonged cytokinins because of their involvement in cytokinesis or cell division. Ethylene Even before the discovery of auxin in 1926, ethylene was known to have effects on plants. In ancient times the Egyptians would use ethylene gas to ripen fruit. During the 1800s shade trees along streets with lamps that burned ethylene. The illuminating gas, would become defoliated from leaking gas. In 1901 Dmitry Neljabov demonstrated that ethylene was the active component of illuminating gas. Abscisic acid Philip F. Waring discovered large amounts of a growth inhibitor in the dormant buds of ash and potatoes that he called dormin. Several years later in the 1960s, Frederick T. Addicott, 1912, reported the discovery in leaves and fruits of a substance capable of accelerating abscission that he called abscisin. It was soon discovered that dormin and abscisin were identical chemically. How does a plant become a fossil? Fossilization is dependent upon where organisms grow and how quickly they are covered by sediment. Rarely do paleobotanists find the fossil remains of whole plants. Usually only fossilized parts of plants are found. Fossilization occurs in many different ways. Three common methods of fossilization are compression, impression, and molding or casting. Compression fossils are often formed in water, where heavy sediment flattens leaves or other plant parts. The weight of the sediment squeezes out water present in the plant tissue. Leaving only a thin film of tissue. An impression fossil is an imprint of an organism that is left behind when the 
organisms' remains have been completely destroyed, leaving only the contour of the plant. Fossil molds and casts are formed when animal or plant tissues become surrounded by hardened sediment, the tissue then decays. The hollow negative created by the tissue is called a mold. When fossil molds fill with sediment over time, the sediment often conforms to the contours of the mold, resulting in a fossil called a cast. <laughs>